Let's travel and lifestyle expert James Dick Baller joins us in all of his splendor. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. This is Speak Up. And I wanted to see if I could actually make it speak up. This is a Bluetooth Siri voice activated speaker you can take with you wherever you go. Like music in my cup? Music in your cup. And you can have music on the go. And I, I, I really want to see if it's going to work here. Let's see if I can get it to work on mine. And speak up. Where speak you up. Get it? Yeah. You get it. Oh, like um, speak up. Yeah. yeah. Speak up is at, let me see, ishopcup.com. That's better than my radio at home. Yes. So 129 dollars, okay. but the bottom line, it is worth the investment. And speakers like this cost about 500. Yeah, that Just is speak so nice. Up. I like this, that. That was iShopSpeakUp.com. iShopSpeakUp.com. Yes. Okay. What are we looking at? Okay, here? we've got the Speak Up, which is a Bluetooth speaker that is designed to play music and also use as a hands hold speakerphone in your car, your office, or. Uh, home anywhere. And so you can sit this in the, the cup holder yep. in your car. There's your Bluetooth speaker. Yep. That's and it's, great. And it's got gesture control and it's Siri voice enabled. You could even put it in your backpack. It's so uh, portable. No kidding. Wow. Very, very cool. That is very cool. Very That's cool. That's great. And it's got the USB plug yep. right here. Yep. Okay. Fancy. All right, John, I finally figured out what I'm going to be getting you for Christmas. One of these guys. Our phones oftentimes seem like our lifelines, right? We're never very far away from them, whether in the car, at home, on the go. A portable speaker that can be used as a hand-free speakerphone is very valuable. Joining us this morning to tell us about one of the hottest new tech products for our smart smartphones is Gus Jockers. What in the world? Gus, this is so cool. What, what is this, first off? <laughs> uh, it's, it's a Bluetooth speaker, but it's much more than that. Oh, yeah. It's more a communication device, so you can control a phone or a pad or a tablet and it's just a phenomenal uh, interactive device. Yeah, as you can hear it, it's playing music right now, but Siri is on here too. I can ask Siri what time it is, you, right? You, you, uh, this is a play pause. Mm -hmm. So you can simply touch Siri. What time is it? What time is it, Siri? There we, we go. Turn the down. Yeah, we turned, <laughs> we did turn the volume down. This is actually how you control the volume, which is really cool. And you can you can even call your office, can't you? You can call your office. You can anything that's on your phone book. You can just voice command. That's voice command is where it's going. This is so great. Now, the where did other, that where did the idea come from? Uh, we started it here in St. Louis. Uh -huh. I was uh, in China with my business partner, and we decided let's get into the Bluetooth speaker market. Okay. We're an OEM company, so it was new and uh, and different for us uh -huh. to get into a consumer product. Sure. But we'll be at the Consumer Electronics Show, the CES show in mm -hmm. Las Vegas, and we won this wonderful award mm -hmm. for the design and engineering of this product. Yeah, you can get them in different colors, different kind of themes. I mean, it, where can people, if people are interested in buy, purchasing one of these, where can they get that? They can go to speakup.com, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but we are also on the Gromit, which is a pretty popular site now. Okay. And we are just now making our entry into uh, brick and mortar stores. Wow. I have a sneaking suspicion you will not have a problem selling any of these. This is one such a One of the other hit. interesting features uh -huh. is this has gesture control. Oh, really? And we, it, you can change your track, and if you have a call coming in, you can answer the phone by waving wow. your hand. All right, the big question everybody wants to know, how much is one of these bad boys? One twenty nine ninety five under Reasonable. under one hundred and thirty. Yes, okay. and we feel like uh, we're probably fifty or sixty dollars below the current market oh, price, is which great. is uh, factory direct. So it's a, an interesting approach. And it's a St. Louis company, so the idea came here from St. Louis. Yes, it you, did. Your partner's in China, obviously with the tech technological stuff, but it's great to keep it right here in the St. Louis area. Thank you so much. Gus Jockers for joining us. If you'd like more information, we've linked all their information to our website, foxtonow.com. John, which one do you want? Because I, 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 I have a sneaking suspicion you might want this one. Like no, I'm into the black. I like. You that. are the black. Yeah, I, I couldn't find the other one because I'd leave it outside and it'd get lost. Okay. It looks just like my coffee grinder. <laughs> that is really cool. That's kind of cool. All right, something called the Speed Cup. The Speed Cup. Yeah, this is this is sort of a neat one. It looks like a travel mug. And can, can you put a drink in it? Uh, no, I, okay. I would not advise that. I mean, you maybe could, but it probably wouldn't work much anymore after that. But it fits in your cup holder in your car, and it connects to your phone via Bluetooth. 
And then it works especially well with iOS devices, and there's a little microphone button. It looks kind of like the Siri icon on iOS, and you can hold that down and actually co control Siri using that. And there's gesture controls, volume. You can, it even has its own built-in speaker, so Siri can talk back to you. So just to help you with that hands-free uh, control of your uh, smartphones while driving, especially I iOS devices. And this is this is pretty nifty. I think I might have to steal this one. Uh, that one is the speed cup that will go into your cup holder in your car. This You'd is like, the, then my favorite thing. Yeah, you Oops. like, there you go. You can tr control it with your fingers or you can use gesture control if you set it up that way. So you've got your phone. Uh, Garth can wait for a second. <laughs> you, you have your phone in your car. You, if you got a new car, maybe you have that Bluetooth built in. Well, this is a way with any car that Love has that. a cup holder. It's a speed cup. It's about uh, 100 bucks or less. And then you want to read technology, yeah. including Bluetooth speakers. Um, there's one right there. You can hear that music. And, and the quality is yeah. unbelievable. This is called the speed cup. And this is designed, as you can see, to go in your car. Put that right in the cup holder. You can put it on your desk you know how many as times well. I tried to drink from this. I, <laughs> it uses wireless Bluetooth. It also will use gesture technology. You can change. Uh, if you get a phone call. So lots of us would like to have that stuff you can get in a new car. Well, and that could actually yeah. go in a golf cart as oh, well. Absolutely. That'd be popular here in Perfect. Southern Arizona. There absolutely. you go. There you go. So anywhere. So wireless. This is a wireless Bluetooth. That's a coffee speaker. cup. Well, it looks like it. It's designed to go into. There you go. There's a little Garth, Garth Brooks. There you go. Th this uh, will go into the cup holder in your car. So new cars have Bluetooth for wireless hands-free for your phone and your music. Right. This one uh, is a car that doesn't have And if have bad it, guys want to break has, in, they'll think it's a coffee cup. Well, they'll they'll just think, oh, I don't want that. It will. That's so and, nice. And, you can, and then I've got a little music here. It's a little Garth Brooks. And that's Sorry. playing off my smartphone. But this is in a speed cup. Now, this is designed. The cup again, plays? The cup Come plays. On. And it's not an actual cup. It looks like one. But you know, you get a new car now, you can get Bluetooth in for your phone and your music. Well, if you've got a car that doesn't have Bluetooth, I bet you it's got cup holders. This is designed to fit right in the cup holder. That's Less, super cool. And just let everyone know that is good quality yeah. sound. Right. You know, because I don't know if they can tell off of right. the TV, but that's but really great. Really sound. Less than a hundred bucks. Oh. And there's lots of these wireless Bluetooth speakers now because most of us have some music in our smartphones right. or our tablets yeah. or however we do it. So and, and wireless, it will connect. Speed cup, and you notice this. It looks like a coffee cup. Right. Yeah. A lot of new cars have Bluetooth built in well if you got a car already that you like doesn't have Bluetooth but maybe it's got cup holders so this is designed to fit into the uh, cup holder so again you synchronize that and then it has touch uh, um, controls so you get you synchronize it with your phone uh, your radio phone call. Phone and yeah it does your radio your phone and everything else so if your car did not come cup. equipped with Bluetooth yeah. now you've got it yeah and the design I find is really interesting because it's designed to go right into the cup holder yeah. and most cars have lots of cups this is the speed cup and it looks this, like a coffee cup. It does, and it's designed to go into your automobile's cup holder. You know, lots of us, you get a new car, you got Bluetooth. If you got an older car, probably not Bluetooth, but probably cup holders. This fits in there. It's called the Speed Cup. But that's great when you, you know, this time of the year in Michigan, we're driving somewhere exactly. to a park or to our exactly. you know, cabin. Right. That is from... Uh, this looks like a coffee mug. That's the Speed Cup. Can you hear that sound? Oh, Very yeah, excellent great. sound. Well, a lot of us have Bluetooth in a new car. If you have a car already, but you want Bluetooth, I bet you it has a cup holder. Oh, there this you will go. fit right in your cup holder. Less than 100 bucks. Use it for your phone as well. That's cool. Wireless. Okay. That, this is a little music for you, right? That, that is uh, the cup. Speed Cup. <laughs> and that looks like a drinking cup. It's yeah. designed to fit right in the cup holder in your car. Uh, and it uses hand signals. Also, it'll use gesture technology yeah. so that you can use that as your hands-free for your phone and for your music while you're driving. Yeah, because a lot yeah. of us, you you know, you take your smartphone, right. you plug it in, and then you kind of, where do you put exactly. things? New cars will have that stuff built in, but if you have a car you like, you can... New stuff, new well, technology. Well, yeah, while we're talking about automobiles, I brought along a... Uh, a loudspeaker. You may be able to hear my pal Garth Brooks here. Yeah. This is. This is. This is so it, it, it. This looks like a very tall coffee. Yeah, mug. it does. Uh, it's called the Speed Cup. 
Um, and these were these people were introduced this at the Consumer Electronics Show in January. This is some folks out of uh, St. Louis, uh, American made, really nice. And it is a Bluetooth wireless Bluetooth speaker. So I have uh, music on my iPhone or any other smartphone yeah. or tablet, and Bluetooth has gotten better and better and better. And you know, I mentioned a lot of people. You buy a new car now, you either have it. Uh, standard or you have an option to get Bluetooth wireless for your phone and your phone automatically hooks up to that. Yeah. Um, but a lot of us have a car we already like or we're, right. not, we're not ready to buy a new car. But if you bought a car in the last 15 years, I bet you it's got cup holders in it. Oh, yeah. So that's what this is designed to fit into. It looks like a cup. It slits right into the coffee cup holder. And it can use gesture controls or hand controls so I can just hit it. And you can jump into the, If you get a phone call, you can stop the music and it'll, or it will automatically um, uh, take your phone call hands-free. That's another whole area. You know, there's more and more electronics in the car. Um, Rule number one, do not text and drive. Do not text and right. drive. Can I say that again? You do can. not text and drive. But um, you can, you know, if you're driving a, a vehicle, a couple thousand pounds of metal, um, keep your eyes on the road, hands on the wheels, pay attention to what you're doing. We have a... a for people using the tablet and, and actually do a lot of writing. Exactly. Right. And we, we mentioned before... You can listen to the music here. You may be able mm -hmm. to hear that. Notice it has hand controls. I can start it or stop it. This is called the Speak Up. You get a new car these days. It's got Bluetooth in it. So yeah. it's got hands-free for your phone. You connect your phone. Well, this is for folks who have a car that doesn't have Bluetooth but does have cup holders. Yeah. <laughs> this is designed to slip right into the oh, cup that's holder. Great. So, and then it, you can do it with hand controls. You can do it with gesture controls. You get the phone call. You can. It works with Siri with your iPhone. Very good. So it, it converts all of that. Just going to take a sip out of this yeah, coffee. Yeah, well, that's this. not actually coffee. That's a speed cup. And you, oh. And you can hear, that is a wireless Bluetooth speaker. Right. If you get a new car, it might have Bluetooth built in, and you can hook your phone up to it. Uh, if you ha don't have Bluetooth in your car, you probably have cup holders. Put that in the speaker. The speed cup is, goes right in the cup holder, and then you can take your phone calls, listen to music. Under 100 bucks. Under 100 bucks. Terrific, but a really interesting design. You have a lot of these wireless Bluetooth speakers now. Um, as wireless has gotten better, Bluetooth in particular, is in about its fourth iteration. Absolutely great. And more of us have music like we do here <laughs> on our smartphones. Country and Western. And then you can go and do that. Well, that's Waylon Jennings. The great Thanks Waylon so much, Jennings. Jim. Thank it's good you to see you again. Much, Jim Barry. Well, let, let me show you my uh, speak up. This is a, looks like a coffee cup but you can hear the music. You get a new car, you can get Bluetooth. If you got an old car, it yeah. probably doesn't have Bluetooth, but it probably has cup holders. <laughs> so this is designed to go into your cup holder. You can also use hand controls with it to turn it on and off. Look at that. So, and, or, or gesture control. So, you know, you get phone calls, oh. you listen to the music, you get the call. So this is a hands-free type of effect. But really cool industrial design goes in the cup holder in your car. That is really cool, yeah. especially as you mentioned, speak for pe up. people who have uh, those cars, like my yeah. car, that doesn't yeah. have Bluetooth exactly. built in. Well, eventually all of them will have Bluetooth yeah. built in, we'll but now, but last 15 years or so, almost everything has cup holders. Jim yeah. Barry, the digital answer man from the... So it looks like Nicole just put a coffee cup in her center console, right? Hello? Well, check again. This is a speak up. It's an intuitive surround sound speaker that uses Bluetooth technology to sync with an iPhone or Android. Hello? Can you call Sylvia for me? In just minutes, you're ready for wireless phone calling and music playback, either through your phone or your audio system. The shape is stylish and also smart. Suddenly, you have a speaker wherever you need it. When you're in the car, there's no fumbling around. Touch the speak up anywhere in its top ring and you've answered the phone. You can hear it more. It has voice activation and motion controls, so you can communicate with a hand wave. The speak up has a 20 hour battery life and comes in three different colors. Costing about 130 bucks. These little technical wonders are something you'll want to get your hands on. 